Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Today we're going to see how long I can run this compressor refrigerator off of a 100 amp hour lithium battery from PowerQueen. Last week I was on a camping trip, and on this camping trip I took my box trailer because it was just myself, my wife decided not to go. My box trailer has a double sized bed that folds down off of the wall that I installed myself. If you guys do want to see a build video on this thing, put it down in the description and I can see if I can work on that later. It also has a bathroom in it that I'm still kind of in the process of finishing with a shower, toilet, all that kind of stuff. And it has a workbench up front with upper and lower cabinets. Uh, pretty nice job. That part I had made when I had the trailer uh, made for me. I ordered it that way. And this diesel heater will keep the inside of that at 20 to 30 degrees outside, the diesel heater will keep the uh, the inside temperature man, sometimes way too warm. It, it got up over 68 this last time or 7. It was like in the 70s a couple times. So this is where I'm actually keeping my refrigerator, the ice cove. It's inside the uh, trailer. I have room in there for it, along with the battery and everything. Now on this trip, I did not run any solar to this at all. I just ran it straight off the battery. And then what I did is that when I got home, I charged the battery, and I'll show you all this later. And my charger will actually tell you how many amp hours it puts back into the battery. And we'll show you what, what it did there also. I arrived to camp at about 6 p.m. Uh, on the way up, I'd already, before I left, I'd, I got all my food in there, got the refrigerator already nice and cold. The refrigerator actually was packed pretty well, and if you guys don't know it, and you probably do, uh, the, the stuff that's in the refrigerator helps keep the refrigerator cold too. If it's empty, it'll run all the time because there's nothing to keep that cold in there. All right, so I had it pretty full. Drinks, food, all kinds of stuff, snacks. So I arrived at camp about 6 p.m. I unplugged it from my trailer batteries, which were running off of the truck, so I wasn't really running any power off of them at the time. And, and I plugged them into the power queen. Now I ran this refrigerator till Wednesday. Uh, it was like... Uh, Four o'clock, basically, I think when I unplugged it, four or five, something like that. So about 94 hours straight. Yeah, and that thing, it worked flawlessly, guys. I, I have to tell you that if you guys don't have one of these compressors, I will put links down in the uh, description also to either this product or something similar, the battery, my charger, stuff like that. If you want to help the channel, please click on the links and use those links. It does help the channel a little bit. Sometimes I get a, a little kickback from Amazon. It's not a whole lot, but it does help make these videos. So I would say my average temperature in my trailer where that was probably around 70 degrees. I got over 70 and then it got down in the 60s at times, okay? Uh, actually, even a little bit colder at times. So it wasn't like this refrigerator was working super hard, hard like, you know, Texas summer, 110 or something outside. But it but it, it was working fine. It was about, it was probably... Well, the days got up in the mid 70s, but the trailer was above 70 and below 70. So I would say average of about 70. Let me show you the setup that I had and just I'll talk about what it is and what's what I took with me and how I hooked it up. All right, so this is my ice co refrigerator. It can also be used as an ice chest if you don't have battery power. It does both. That's kind of their claim to fame on this one. Pretty efficient. It runs a compressor style set up the compressors down in this compartment here. So this last weekend, I set this thing up on a Power Queen 12.8, 100 amp hour, premium two mini lithium battery. And I basically ran it into that uh, cigarette lighter there. I did have solar for the weekend, but after I hooked it up and let it set for a day or so, I decided, let's see if this thing will make it. Now, it went 96 hours. And it never failed okay so it was Saturday night at uh, 6 o'clock and there's the plug the plug for it right there just cigarette plug so Saturday night 6 o'clock till Wednesday around 4 o'clock is when I turned it off so what I'm gonna do is hook this thing up to my my battery charger. I have a 10 amp battery charger and it will actually tell me how many amp hours it puts into this battery Okay, so I'm going to charge it up, see what we, and, the, and this, this is not scientific, but we'll take the 100 amp out, we'll, sub, we'll subtract what it charges, and then we'll see maybe how many more days we could do it. 
Okay, let me put this thing on the charger and let's test it. See how long it takes to charge it or how many amp hours it takes. All right, now I have this on the charger. It's been on for two or three minutes. This is a Victron 10 amp or 3 amp charger. That's the, uh, the charger right over here. Okay, into the battery. Now I'm going to show you the screen. Right now it's in bulk charge. It's taking 10 amps. This battery can take 10 amps easily without hurting it. Plus it'll speed up a little bit. So let me show you what we have here. So we're in bulk mode. Okay, 13.83 voltage and 10 amps. That's just a checking thing. And if you look at the very first one here, right now it has 0.7 amp hours into it already. Okay, so almost an amp hour into it. It's been on for four minutes and a couple seconds. After charging my battery, the battery, the charger showed that I had used 54.3 amp hours for the the 94 hours or so. Okay. If you if you average that out, it's about 0.59 uh, amp hours per hour, or about 14 amp hours a day. Now these fridges do want to see a certain voltage where it will actually cut off. So if you do have it hooked to like your truck battery, it won't run your battery down so low that you can't start it. The nice thing about a lithium battery is that they, they, they hover around 13.1 volts, which is good because that's a way above what the, uh, the refrigerator wants to see. Now I will say at the very end of this, that the battery will just go, oh, go, 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 and then just drop off. You guys have power tools, you know how they work, and then all of a sudden, boom, they're done. That's kind of the same thing. They turn themselves off, that, that battery management system. For what I have left over, I, I figure I can get at least six days straight with, with no, nothing going into the battery. Now, I did use this thing down, I did use it a couple times in Quartzfest, um, and I hooked it to an 80-watt solar panel and, and charge controller, and it seemed to keep up no problem. So I think six days is probably a good range for just the battery by itself. Add solar to that, you can probably go a couple weeks, if not indefinitely. So hopefully this video was of help to you guys. And if it is, please hit that like. If, if you're new here and you like content like this in ham radio content, please think about subscribing. Hit the bell, hit all. That way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. For Ham Radio Adventures, thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope to catch you guys on the airways. 73 all.